Cat fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host Zelot, and we are here today doing the Alpha 10 series. Yes, it is the Arid Start, the second season Arid Start, and so far, so I've been working on the base, and we haven't got attacked yet. Let's take a look at the stats. I haven't looked. Wow, we're up to 50% chance. I don't understand how we're not getting attacked yet. Private. It's been 11 days, three hours. See, yeah, I just... Location, they're not too happy about the... It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. It's, my reputation is really killing me. The base size is going up. Energy footprint. Okay, so... I would have figured we would have got attacked already. But... What I've realized is, well, I am level 12 with 82. That's not bad. I need, I have no heal, I have no healing. I have no way of making stuff. I know I've ran out of, out of ways to make mats to make the uh, grow plots. So I think what we should do is go swimming. So there's a big... There's a really big freaking lake right here that I think we should go check out and then maybe grab the silicone on the way back, <laughs> right? Some munch, some silicone on the way back. That's not bad. Let's do that. So what are we going to need? We're going to need O2. We've got some O2. Uh, we don't have any food, but we'll get some by seaweeds. And then we've got small little two bottles with us, so we're pretty good then. Uh, let's make sure. Let's make sure that this guy has what he needs in it. Uh, 2,500 bullets, that's pretty good. Let's... Oh, we still got... Okay, so that's pretty good. And how's our fuel doing? Let's grab some fuel from the base somewhere, I think. Maybe? Ooh, maybe not. Oh, yeah, right there. Uh, what about on me? Do I have any on me? No. Oops. Okay, so. Fill that up. You know what? We'll uh, stow a few in there. That should be sufficient. And then, right now we have, do we have any food on us? We've got a couple. Okay. So let's eat those then. I'd rather keep the meat that I have in the fridge for uh, ration packs when I can start making those. Okay, well, let's take this guy out. And go pick some seaweed. Let's raise off the floor a little bit here. And let's flip to our guns. Sometimes there's like a golem. Let's go check out this. And the oh, the Titans might have reinforcements again. So, gotta be wary. Okay. This thing handles pretty good for a for a tiny little get around miner. It's got a fridge and a constructor in it. That's really about the only creature comforts. Well, it does have an O2 dispenser, which is nice. Okay. Kind of 
fly crazy through the radiated zone. And I'm not worrying, oops, smash into that one, but I'm not worrying about p picking up stuff in here right now. We can go mine pr Prometheum, I think is our better option. Whoa, let's do a complete, yeah, barrel roll. Oh, wow, that was an epic, uh, that was an epic lag spike. Oh, because of that guy. Yeah, right. Okay. So. We're going to have to go explore that unknown artifact too. It's got a lot of loot in it. That's a really difficult POI though, so. We'll have to think about that one later. In the meantime... here we're just gonna lower down a little bit here just to make it easier to jump into so what do we have on us we have 89 I'm sure that's tons so let's connect to our fridge there we go We're in lake water. Critters shouldn't be below us, hopefully. I see seaweed. Um, is that plasma? I'm hoping plasma. That's what I'm really hoping for is plasma. Yeah, it looks like it. Good. Nice. Seaweed and plasma. Wow kind of scored here so I need the plasma for healing stuff and the seaweed will come in handy for making protein bars and making um, uh, spoiled food for nutrient solution so I can use the seaweed to uh, make the grow plots with Not to mention I'm getting XP for picking this stuff too, 100 at a time, so there's another reason to be down here picking seaweed, other than just getting the seaweed. Okay, let's unequip. We're going to swim, it's probably a little faster. Is that one? Okay, can't get that one. Lots of seaweed around. Some rocks that can be used for uh, crushed stone. Sometimes there's silicone down at the bottom of these lakes too, but we also don't want to get too far away from the miner and get disconnected. It's nice to just pick things directly into the fridge. Okay. How is the fridge doing? 25. That's not enough. Not enough. I mean, sure, it's enough to actually get the garden going, but not enough for what I want. So I also want to turn a bunch into uh, protein bars too. Okay, get all this plasma. And I think I'll be able to make. Oh, 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 oh. Head back, head back. Did we disconnect? Uh, I'm not sure. Let's see. Nope, doesn't appear to be. 
Nice. Okay. As long as we stay within 100 meters, that's the uh, that's the range of the Wi-Fi on the hover vessel. So we can get a lot within 100 meters. A lot. Yes, this is excellent. Excellent. And a little bit boring. But you know what? It's part of the game. Swimming around. It's nice to show the uh, all aspects of the game, really. So in the lake region, which is what I'm in right now, there shouldn't be any critters. If I get too shallow into like shore or shallow water, those tentacle creatures can can live in those areas. So it's not a it's not a good idea to go swimming in those areas without um, some way of protecting yourself. Um, and since you can't shoot weapons under water. <clears throat> makes for a little bit of a challenge. That's why I just kind of tend to avoid those areas. And okay, that's our one that won't. I think we're good enough. Let's let's head back up. Okay. What do we got here? Let's take a look. 52. I'm just going to grab some of these. I will grab 20. That leaves 32. That's plenty. Got a bunch of alien plasma T6s and some ZR1s. Not bad. That'll help with some healing. Okay. So right now I want to just make a whole bunch of energy bars. There we go. Our protein bars, I should say. So, now we can probably head back. So we'll grab silicone on the way and I guess as much promethium as we can too. So silicone. So let's grab that silicone. Okay. Convenient spot, really, in amongst the uh, trees here. Okay, let's turn on our drills. Um, what have we got in the way of? We've got lots of capacity right now. Okay. Okay, so let's do this. I don't think I've done any mining with this since I brought it in on camera have I so we'll just get real aggressive point it down you notice that I got my hover height set at three right now makes it easier to point down then I'm just gonna kind of make a bit of a bowl right now above it Then I'll start clearing out the bowl by spinning in a circle. Now I may have to, you know what I'm going to do, I'm going to lower, lower down a little bit because I am a little bit too high right now. Okay, there we go, there we go. And there's the silicone there coming in. Just get that. There we 
go. Nice. Just aim straight down for the last little bit. Thought I saw a little bit under me here. No? No. Okay. And we'll just... Oh, is that straight up? Must be straight up. There we go. Well, that silicone was easy enough to get. Um, what did we get from it anyway? 161, not bad. We still got tons of space. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head over to... Yeah. Let's go... Let's go after this one. See if we can mine it completely up. Now, do I have my visor with me? My ore scanner, yep. Okay. We've got lots of lots of ammo. Okay. Okay. Oops. And, yeah, can't see. <laughs> Ugh. These tiny trees are hidden behind more bushy trees. Okay, oh, yep, there's a drone. Okay, so let's take him out. Oh, come back. Kill this tree. Come on, buddy. There you go. I got his attention. There we go. And he's dead. So, ooh, look at all the spice around. You know what? I want to grab this because I need it for the. Uh, and we're still we're still connected to the fridge, right? Yeah, okay, perfect. So let's just let's just lower down here a little bit. And can I grab it? Yeah, nice. Okay. I know I'm gonna do some low low cruising and pick some herbs. Use a low rider and pick some herbs. I saw some more spice. Where was that? Right here. Yeah. Nice and safe way of picking herbs. Okay, we can avoid all them. Just looking for spice. Oh, there's a, a golem. What are you doing, buddy? He's dying is what he's doing. Dying to see me. Okay. Yeah, we'll pick his herbs. Nice, nice. I saw a nice chunk of Neo on him. Uh, any more? Any more? Any more before I go mining? Any more? I should get these two. Okay. Ooh, buds. Yeah, we need buds too. Herbs and buds, man. We need some buds. Okay. Nice. More 
spice. Gotta find more spice. I believe it's two spice per sprout. Oh, there's another. Sp oh, couple more spice. Nice. Spice is nice. Get the spice and alien herbs, and then we'll go back and get back to mining here. I know this is kind of a boring video for you guys because I'm not really doing much besides picking flowers and picking plants <laughs> and resource gather. Oh, there's another golem there. Wow. Must be a spawn right here. Nice, level 13, that's what I wanted before we headed back, so perfect. And we'll get to mining now. Oh, 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 I see a drone coming. Replacement drone. Maybe replacement drone, I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, okay, well. Some excitement. Yay. Okay, where was that? Up there. So we'll head back to the Prometheum. Yeah, it might have been the replacement drone. It looks like it was heading in this direction. That's fine. That's fine. That means we bought ourselves a little bit of time. So let's do this. We've got, can we see? Oh, let's go up a little higher. Anything attacking us? No. And there we go. I can see all the odds and sods down there. Now it's, this can be a little bit more tricky, mining with a T1 drill that can get hung up on these, on these nuggets sometimes. So you just got to be mindful of it. The, um, the smaller vessels definitely fare better. Now you can see we're bringing in a lot of stone too, unfortunately, but can't do much about it. We are getting a decent amount of Prometheum though. Just got a wide note here. I'm facing down too much, yeah. Oh, that's why there was a nugget under me there. And my camera's all out of whack now. That's okay. <laughs> Here, you know what? Let's go into this view. thing is actually really, really easy to mine with. Oh. 
nice. <laughs> okay. Almost. I guess this is showcasing my little uh, mini miner here. <laughs> this wasn't really what I intended for the video, but come on. Uh, we're pointing straight up. I might not be able to get those. Oh, no. There we go. Come on. Nice. see one I see one in there that's on a harsh angle though not sure if we can get that oh we're upside down there no more free storage space okay uh, wow nice okay so what are we gonna do here well darn we are full aren't we we could go like this And then get this last chunk. And that leaves 10% left by the look of it. Just trying to get out of here now without collecting too much stone. <laughs> There's what one one nugget left. Now did that get rid of it? Nope, there's still more. Okay. Well, we're full. So I gotta try and figure out a way out of here. Big overhang. That's okay. Come on, you can do it. There, yay! Okay, head back to base. Oh, she's sluggish now. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. A little heavy in the butt, too. Knocked a tree over. Oh. She's heavy. She's got a heavy load on her of ore. And I, I believe Promethium is one of the more heavier... Or it might be average or something. I, I forget. No, we're still... We're still keeping... Oh, wow. There's a... You know, a drone that uh, we just flew straight underneath. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention all of a sudden. It's like, oh, yeah, we just flew under a drone. Doop -doo -doo. Okay. Well, I will meet you back at base. Oh, we just got back to base, and I just got the notification that we're under attack. Oh, crap. Okay, so I just emptied stuff into the base here. Um, I guess we should grab the HV and go out and protect the base, right? So let's do that. Get some lights going. We've got some ammo. So I'm not sure. Oh, there it is. I'm assuming it's going to be a troop transport. Yep. So where's he coming with it? Where's he going to drop the troops? That's what I want to know. So... Where's he going? 
where is he going to drop the troops? Right there on the top. Okay. So, we need to go deal with those guys. Let's do that then. Before they climb down into my base. Oh, there they are. One down, two down, got to be careful, oh there's the other one, come on where'd you go? to go. Oh, there he is. Oh, I got him. Nice. Okay, there should be another one. the three of them maybe he I don't want to loot him yet I just want to make sure that the area is clear did he maybe go down here no okay well it looks like it was just three of them that got dropped off Okay, well, that was our first attack, avoided. But it doesn't say that we avoided the first attack yet. So, where is he? We've got a delinquent Xerax running around somewhere. Huh. Okay, that makes me want to put up more defenses now. I, w I need to put up defenses because we're being attacked. So, yeah. Time to put up some defenses. We just leveled up, so let's uh, do that. Now I'm thinking I'm just going to open this cave up more. I'm not going to run the blocks right out to the opening of the cave. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have turrets in the cave shooting at the stuff that comes into the cave. And then from here now did we uh, I put all that stuff away didn't I? Yeah. We should have a decent supply of stuff now. We got lots of iron and we got lots of silicone now. I just mined it. Where did it go? There it is. So tons. It's almost 700. You know, close close to a thousand silicone. We've got a decent supply. Yeah, another big chunk. Okay, so we don't have a lot of copper, but we've got a lot of promethium. We've got an okay amount of copper, but we're going to need to get more copper because the I think the ammo takes up a lot of copper. We've got a decent amount of magnesium. So that means we can use rockets. So let's do that. We need to make... Oh, we need to get this back room sorted too. Oh, so much to do. Oh my goodness. Okay, so first of all, I think... We need to get this back room sorted. So let's do that. And what do we got for statistics right now? 54%. So it's down to two hours. Okay. So not that bad. If they're just leaving guys up there, I mean, pff, they're 
they won't even they won't even come down here potentially. So that's not where I think this is a pretty good spot. Okay, I want to connect to this one. And then oops, let's dump the stuff into here first though. Just a crap ton of stone at this point. I can make so much frickin' concrete. Uh, speaking of, let's connect to here. And we've got all these here. So I'll give you a tour of what I've done really quick. So there is nothing going on back here yet. So we've got to build this. That's going to be the, this is going to be the furnace room, uh, utility closet. So all the fuel tanks, oxygen, all the ugly stuff. Okay, so this is the outside. This is going to be the hangar. Eventually I'll build this into a big, big hangar. Big sealed hangar, and then over here, we've got our grow room, and then down here, wow, it's really cold, minus 51, um, but sealed here for some reason, <laughs> nice, uh, and then I just built a little, I don't know, a little waiting area or something, so up here should be right below where the um, where we killed those guys. So that's what I want to do. I want to build a little a bunker up at the top that's going to have turrets on it, and so that we can access our water generators without getting exposed to the elements. So that's the other project I want to do is build a little bunker, connect all that up. But today, let's get our ammo sorted out. Well, I guess if they're not coming down into here, it's not that big of a deal. I should probably get the bunker working then. So, but still, I need the ammo sorted out. So let's do this. Um, so this is going to have to be three high for the furnace and it'll be good for storage too, if it's three high. So let's do that. To there. I'll have to dig all this out. It's not going to take it there. Okay. Whatever. Now, we never got a saying, a, a sign, or a message saying we successfully defended the attack, which is a little, a little annoying, because it should have let us know that we averted the attack. Whatever. You can see how fast this T2 drill drills. It's awesome. Okay, basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make another box. And eventually we will texture and paint all this stuff. But I, I need to get the, the core structure of it built. I need some functionality quite quickly now that we're under attack. So... functionality over aesthetics at this point um, yeah we can start going this way two three one more for the roof one two three and four okay so I guess what we'll do this, clear this off. And then we'll 
just use that wall to continue building with. Come on, right there. And we'll pull that. Can we pull it a little bit? As much as possible. I'll clear that up. Okay, can we? No, we've got to dig this up. Okay, I'm going to keep working on this. This is kind of boring, so. Oh, what's going on? Did it not? That's no, not too bad. Okay. So I'm going to keep working at this. I'm going to build us the, uh, const uh, not construction room, but the utility closet. Uh, storage utility closet, basically. Furnace room. That's what this is going to be. Okay, I'll come grab you when I'm done. Okay, I finished building my box <laughs> for the uh, cargo um, maintenance room, furnace room. And it's not oxygenated, so let's do that. Now, I thought I... Yeah, they're all down there. Okay, so let's grab that. Nope, not that that there we go let's put that sure that looks good and there we go oxygen yay let's put a light in here too and we'll put it right there and then for shiz and giggles we'll go into devices auto group go to the light and apply to group there we go there we go. Now we got light in here. Yay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a bunch of cargo containers, um, container controllers and extensions, and I'm going to build some in, it, it, basically cargo boxes uh, out of extensions and controllers and put them in here. Uh, there's also going to be space. I'm going to leave space for a couple of furnaces. And we're going to have all our O2 and generators and stuff like that in here too. So I think in the back corner, I'm going to start putting the generators and whatnot. Which reminds me, we can put... Um, No, I haven't built it yet. Okay, so we can grab, we need to build all the bits. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do off camera. And then next episode, um, I'll have the back room built with all the extensions and controllers and stuff. I'm also going to build off camera the elevator going up to the top. And I think we'll... We'll build the bunker together next episode is, is will be to build the bunker and we'll get the, I'm going to make some turrets and the ammo, oh yeah, ammo box. we got to unlock that. So let's go into that really quick and unlock that and we'll call it an episode. Yay, medical devices, get those unlocked. We can get the furnace and deconstructors unlocked. Um, armored door, we're going to need that. Shutter door, sure. Bigger fuel tank, that'd be nice. Just looking at stuff. Large generator, meh. Don't really need it. Repair station. And rocket turrets. Okay. Okay. Well, next episode we'll have, we'll be installing turrets. Woohoo! Till then, you have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.